What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I am at a Goodwill. I am thrifting today and I am looking for things that I can buy and sell on eBay, maybe even Amazon FBA and I got some stuff in my cart already. A brand new Steel Transformers for $1.99. Not worth a whole lot, but I got some DVDs, Bible DVDs that are worth a lot of money and I've already sold those and made a lot of money on them. Also had some Merrill shoes in the cart. So those were all on new carts when I came in. So I didn't really have time to turn on the camera, but I wanted to show them in the car anyway because sometimes people claim i don't find this stuff at goodwill and i just want to you know kind of fact check everything here so in this aisle i'm just looking at these small appliances you got some walks some walks can be good money this just depends on the brand those were not so i'm looking at this miscellaneous aisle here's a water filter for a refrigerator i believe now some of these are really worth picking up uh, 60 even to 100 dollars depending on brand and model however that's just a cheap brand uh no name brand really and those just don't do as well in this cart i got some cool things um here's a bunch of cds for 12.99 of course i'll talk about this stuff more in the haul what i got there what i expect to make on it and yeah a pretty good day so far in this goodwill checking the aisles here to see if i see anything you know baskets i know i don't look at baskets i don't pay attention enough to baskets there's some good baskets one day i'll satisfy everyone and buy some baskets here's an atomic clock some of these atomic clocks are good money actually this would have been worth picking up. It had some scratches though, so I decided to pass on it because of that. Uh, I've sold some atomic clocks for $60, $70. Again, it just depends on the name, the brand, uh, the model, all that kind of stuff. Why you just gotta look that up and see what it's selling for on eBay. Filter by what's sold so you can see what's actually selling. Don't go by what's listed because some people are crazy. Uh, they'll list something like that for 500 bucks and it'll just never sell. So here is a Christmas item. Uh, I thought this was kind of unique. I'm like, you know what? I'll look it up, 599. And yeah, it's worth picking up. It's kind of rare. There was only one comp for it. So I think I can mark mine up a bit more. Of course, you know, at this point <laughs> of me doing this voiceover, Christmas is over. So it's gonna be kind of a long wait for that. And I know people are wondering why I do voiceovers sometimes, and it's just because of the copyrighted music being played in Goodwill. Uh, you can't have that in your video, or you, know, you get a copyright strike on your video, and I don't want that. So yeah, Goodwill blares all kinds of music. And if you could, please hit that like button for me. It only takes a second and it really does help me out a lot. And I really do appreciate the support. So here we are, we got a child leash, which, <laughs> you know, maybe one of the smartest inventions ever. I don't know. Uh, just kind of funny and humorous that people you know, leash their children. It's a good idea though. It keeps them kind of close and safe, but check out this new cart. Got some collectibles on here and some of them are worth picking up. Some of them are not. Some of the Hallmark stuff is just priced too high, like 15 bucks and they're only selling for 20, 25. So I left those. These are priced fair and they're the most valuable of the items. So again, it just shows, goes to show you that people working at Goodwill doesn't necessarily know what they have sometimes. So I'm at a thrift store now. Uh, nothing's really changed in this church thrift store since the last video. Uh, here's an Elmo, this is new. These larger jumbo Elmos can be worth picking up. That one was just dirty and I just didn't want to mess with it. So I'm at this Goodwill now and I see some boots and I'm like, oh, these are nice looking boots. Could these be red wing boots? Open it up, see the tag. Yes, indeed, red wing boots, an incredible pair of boots and they weren't marked up only $4.99. And you know what? I've already sold those. I think I sold them for 120, 130 bucks. I only paid $5 for them. And there's some more boots up there I end up grabbing. I was so excited about the red wing. I just kind of like, whoa, is there anything else? Here's some of these, um, I forget the name now, but they're made in Spain. I think I've sold some dress shoes by this brand before. And I look them up and I'm like, yeah, I think these are gonna be worth picking up as well. Again, not priced up here. I, I give full credit to Goodwill when they don't price up shoes. And you know, there's so many shoes here that are not worth reselling that people are going to be very pleased to buy and actually wear. Uh, so, you know, it's not like resellers are taking every single good pair of shoes. Uh, a customer could have easily found those red wing boots before me and they would have had a good find or another reseller could have. It just, you know, it's just get out there and hunt. Whoever finds it first <laughs> gets it. You see my cart? Boots. 
lots of great boots, hundreds of dollars in boots. So I'll go over those in the haul part of the video. Again, the best part of it was they weren't marked up at this Goodwill for whatever reason. So very happy to see that. And really none of the shoes were that I saw, just even the basic like Skechers and stuff that I don't resell, all priced fair. Here's a big dollhouse. I thought this might be Bratz at first. I believe it's the LOL doll stuff. Big, I don't really want to mess with it. So I'm leaving that for sure. But you know what? They brought out a big tub of Lego while I was standing there. Only $9.99. And I think this was like 18 pounds of Lego. I weighed it. So that's just an incredible deal. Of course, I grabbed that. Up there on the shelf, I see this, like, what is that up there? It's like a, some sort of Power Rangers looking thing. Transformers. I can't remember if I looked that up or I even saw it. Uh, let me know if you know what that was, anybody. It could have been a huge miss there. I'm not sure. There's a Dyson uh, attachment set 299 is all brand new sealed i've sold that as well that sold very quickly uh we got some christmas tins some other stuff here i'm not really interested in so i'm at this goodwill now i think this is a different day i can't remember exactly but this cart was in the last video i am realizing uh they just never ended up putting that stuff away it's just been sitting on the cart because i remember those shoes and that dinosaur but a couple more carts are out now and i'm just checking these out see if there's anything i want to pick up some brand new roller skates and they're priced fair at $12.99. I thought these were going to be worth picking up. But when I did some research, you know, I was, I was only going to make maybe double my money. Uh, they're big and they weren't selling that quickly. So I did end up putting those back. But in the end, it turned out to be an incredible day. I have a really nice haul today. Some amazing finds. Really fun day, actually, when you find stuff like this. I'm going to start with what's on the floor here. These Lego but first, this Dyson, $2.99 is what I paid for these attachments at Goodwill. Uh, I think I'd sell them for like 24 bucks. So not bad at all to find new in-box Dyson items. And then I got these Legos, and they came in this plastic drawer here. So I poured them in this tote. I weighed them, and they are 18 pounds of Lego. Selling uh, Lego by the pound, 15 pounds will sell between $50 and $100. It just depends what type of Lego they are. Of course, these seem newer. Uh, there's also some other random things in here, but it doesn't look like many random things. It didn't look like many uh, minifigures at all. Uh, here's one missing the hands. I don't think anything special. Only paid $9.99 for them, so uh, just selling them as a lot. You're going to be able to sell them for about 50 bucks, I think. However, I'm keeping them for now. I'm storing up a bunch of loose Legos, so that's where they will go for now. At some point when they are sold, they're going to be some good profit. So up here on the table, I got these cars. International. Uh, first Gear International is what they are. I don't recall ever coming across these. You can see it looks like I have two of each kind here but all of these are different inside i found out when i was checking the condition and they are all new inside so that is nice i uh, like this one it even says right here so i wrote on there s ohio uh, there's just some other advertisements on them there's like a piano moving truck one of these is worth about 80 bucks one of the ones i had was worth at least 60 dollars plus shipping uh, some of the others maybe only like 25 plus shipping i have to do a little bit more research and see exactly what i'm looking at profit wise but they're only 7.99 a piece they just come out on a new cart so i'll take them and here i got this lightkeeper pro you know i don't think i found any of these the past year usually around christmas time I have at least four or five of these I send into Amazon and sell. They go up in value. I think I sell them for like 35 bucks. Didn't send any in this year, but here's one for $1.99. When it's all said and done, I'll be making at least $15 profit on that. Then I got this Christmas decoration that landed the free. You see, I paid $5.99 for it. It's in great condition and it's pretty rare. I only found one comp. Uh, I think it was like 25 or 30 plus shipping. Since it's so rare, I'll be pricing it 40, uh, maybe even $50 plus shipping to see if it will sell and uh, make some money on it hopefully so as you can see i got some great boots here went into the goodwill i couldn't believe what i was seeing they were just a uh, boot after boot some good shoes but i'll start with these kind of like ankle boots or shoes here these are magnani 
I think they are. They come from Spain. And they make some pretty high-end shoes. Uh, they can be in the hundreds. This particular pair, I could not find the exact ones. But similar ones were selling between $50 and $100. I think I can make these toes look better. Uh, I have some brown shoe polish, however. Uh, just to get the kind of, like, blend of colors it has, it might not look right. I have repaired shoes uh, using that strategy before. It has turned out okay. I'm not sure about these, though. Might just sell them as is. Somebody uh, will want to fix them up themselves, possibly do a better job of me just ruining it. But I think I can sell those between $40 and $50 plus shipping. But these black boots back here, they had me really excited when I looked in there. Uh, they didn't look like it was anything great. And I had this come up recently at a rummage sale. Red wing shoes. And uh, at the rummage sale, I was like, oh, these look really cheap. Looked. And these are probably about $120, $140 pair of Red Wing boots. And what's crazy about these is they're all $4.99, all of these. Not marked up at all. Uh, I should be able to sell these for, uh, I'm probably going to try to get $120 for these Red Wing boots. I don't see why I couldn't. Um, some of them new, I think, is like $200 plus. Dollars. Just an absolutely incredible find. And then I got some more boots here. These are double H boots, and they're in good condition. They got a little bit of wear. Uh, they clean up pretty nicely, though. I'm trying to remember the prices between these two. I think these were about $50. Uh, maybe it was these that were $50. There's one pair that was 50 and another pair is going to be worth about 100 These boots are Laredo boots, which I've sold before and they go for good money. It seems like, oh, I just looked them up, I can't even remember. One pair is going to sell for 50 one pair is going to sell uh, for around 100 bucks. So the profit just in these boots I found at Goodwill is just going to be some great money. I got a couple other pairs of shoes. I got these Merrill shoes. I've been finding a lot of Merrill shoes like this in pretty good condition, just like these. This should be easy to sell for about $30. Paid five for these as well. And I got these Nike shoes that are kind of cool looking. They're not worth a whole lot. Uh, I think I'm going to sell them for uh, about $25. Maybe get 30 out of them just because of how clean they are. But I only paid $4.99 for these as well. So between these two pairs of shoes, some more profit. So over here, I got these sealed DVDs. And they are bundled in sets of five. So I was able to get them for only $2.99 per bundle. Otherwise, I probably would have picked them up. I think I can sell these for about $60 plus shipping the whole lot here. Unfortunately, they don't have the first five of the whole series. If I had the first five uh, with these, I'd probably be able to sell them for at least $100. Still, for what I paid for them, I'm going to make some money on them. So I grabbed these True Religion uh, Section Bobby World Tour jeans. They're in amazing condition. And I got them because they were half off and I've been buying some jeans recently. The comps for these are actually pretty good. I should be able to sell them for at least $30 plus shipping. Uh, since they were half off, I only paid like, what, $3 or something for them. So back here, we got this Rugrats doll riding a mighty steed, wolf steed. I paid $4.99 for it. Now, I kind of messed up uh, because I was looking it up and I was looking up Tommy from Rugrats with the pacifier from 1998. Couldn't find any comps. When I got home, I realized that's not Tommy. There's like a, there's a baby. Couldn't remember the baby's name. Looked it up, figured it out. And you know what? If this works, I'll be able to sell it for, I think, $15 plus shipping. It's not going to be any big money. If it doesn't work, honestly, I'm probably just going to return it to Goodwill. Uh, get some store credit because there's not really much money into it. When I couldn't find comps, when I had the wrong doll in my head, I thought to myself, well, that's rare. I bet that could be worth selling. There's no one else is selling it. So I just went ahead and bought it. So check these out. These are some slippers and they are called Animate. They are vintage. They're very clean. If you look at some of the other Animate slippers like this, uh, there's bears and lions. I think I have a pair of lion slippers sold for like 40 or 45 dollars with these being in great condition i don't see why i couldn't sell these and i don't know what i was charged for these if i was charged five dollars or the two dollar 99 cent slipper price didn't really pay attention uh but either way it's gonna be some good profit based on what I did pay. So this jacket, Home Depot, this is a Chase racing jacket. Uh, Tony Stewart, right? Is, isn't that Home Depot? Not too familiar with racing, but it's in good condition and 
again, I don't know what I paid for this. I either got the jacket price or the coat price. Definitely didn't pay more than $6.99 for it. However, when I looked at the comps, I was kind of surprised that these were doing so well. There's a lot of uh, sales, and there's some between $50 and $80 pre-owned, so... Uh, I don't know. I'll sell this for about $60, I think. $60 plus shipping. So check out this baseball bat I got for $7.99. This is why I say you should look up baseball bats. Uh, sometimes they're just worth some great money, like this one. Now, I could only find one comp for this, but the comp sold for, I think, $102 plus shipping uh, with 36 bids on auction, which is a great sign. I went over to Terra Peak to see if there was any more, and I think there was... Uh, a couple more that sold for about the same pre-owned and then some that sold new for around $200. So after that research, I was like, definitely worth picking up this baseball bat. It's also in really good condition for being pre-owned. Honestly, I'm going to price this $120 plus shipping and it's going to be some good profit in the end. But I've seen in my comments section that people are kind of negative on baseball bats because of the shipping. Uh, you know, Priority Mail kind of changed the length. Shipping uh, to be ridiculous. It costs like 30, probably $35 to ship this priority mail. You usually get the priority mail boxes, the long boxes that would fit this bat perfectly for free. However, if you ship this FedEx or UPS, uh, it's only going to be about $12, $13 in most cases to ship one of these. Of course, I do calculated shipping, so you know, if it does ship far away, the buyer still pays whatever it costs to ship it. And just buy, just buy some boxes off eBay. I'll even throw a link in the description if anyone's interested in the boxes I use. I think it's like 25 boxes for like 50 some dollars. Ends up being a little over $2 per box. Uh, definitely worth it if you're coming across baseball bats. You know, I, I sell at least a dozen bats a year and it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, I'm not going to stop selling them just because Priority Mail decided to raise their prices. So here is a unique find, uh, $12.99 for all these CDs. Uh, 200 CDs here and they are all... Uh, Christian music CDs, which for resale is great. Uh, of course, if they were like, you know, heavy metal or, you know, a bunch of Metallica and Iron Maiden or something like that, they would have more value. Uh, but why it's great is it's all one genre and that means you can get a bit more money because you're targeting an audience. And a lot of these have the, the paperwork in there as, as well, which is nice. Or maybe this was donated by a church. Um, I would expect maybe a church would buy something like this. I honestly don't know what it's going to sell for. Um, I would say minimum, you know, fifty dollars plus media mail shipping. I'll have to do some comparisons on what some other lots are selling for. Um, I'm going to try to get maybe seventy-five. It's definitely a great deal, even if someone is paying seventy-five. So yeah, I'll have to do some research, put it up on the screen how much I expect to make on this. So here is a little Transformers figure I picked up in Goodwill. $1.99, it is new. Didn't bother looking it up because I knew I was going to buy it for that, whether I resold it or not. And it does look like uh, maybe I could resell this for about $17, $18. It's light, free shipping, uh, definitely would make some money on it at least. And here is something else I bought. It is a wig. <laughs> I believe it's a men's wig too. Maybe once all my hair falls out, I'll just save this and wear this, right? I looked up this brand. I noticed some of these wigs were selling for over $100. Uh, I looked up this particular model, could not find it. However, one very similar to this sold pre-owned for $40 plus shipping. So that's probably what I'll price this one at, $40 plus shipping. Yeah, I should make some good profit on it. I only paid $4.99 for it. But there it is, everybody. That is my haul for today. I really do appreciate you watching. I would appreciate it more if you hit that like button before you left. If you're on your phone or computer, leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.